Hi, everybody. This week, we're zooming into Semicon West and having conversations with members of the 3D Insights community. Today, I'm speaking with Ludo Vandenberg of Trimax Semiconductor. Now, last year at Semicon West, Trimax's marketing teams presented me with this great cycling jersey, so I thought I'd wear it for our interview. Hello, Ludo. Thanks for joining us today. How are things at Trimax? Hi, I'm doing very good uh, on this side of the ocean. So things are going well at the company? Yes, very well. We made a very good year here. That's great, because last time, okay, last time I saw you was at Semicon Europa before all of this craziness hit um, and things have changed. Um, at that point, you were reporting record sales in China. Um, you were well positioned to serve automotive manufacturers and, and uh, excited about all the new expansions and expansion in Europe. So how has the coronavirus impacted um, this original outlook? Uh, till date, the outlook is still very good with a strong upcoming 5G and power electronic market worldwide. For 2020, all equipment builds are confirmed with a confirmed forecast as of Q1 and Q2 2021. And since the equipment uh, forecast from SIMI for 2021 is predicted to be better than 2020, we are confident that also 2021 will be a very good year for Trimax. And with respect to the COVID-19, all the employees are really taking care and protect themselves in a good manner, in the best way. And everybody, have you been all working from home or are you considered essential? So like, are your factories still work, running? Yes, the production is running, but uh, okay. we, we were able to uh, keep distance and uh, by project. And of course, the administration jobs are all working from home as much okay. as possible. Okay. Um, so this, clearly this might take a little while for us to get through. Do you have any tips that you can share on how to navigate um, business going forward? Yeah, for equipment manufacturers, it's very important to secure your supply chain eh, based on relationships mm -hmm. with the suppliers and with a dual supplier strategy. This is in combination with smart manufacturing. We strongly believe that we can maintain the current and future customer demands, as well as our own new development roadmap, which is a key for the new device technology. Well, um, can you just clarify for me, what do you mean by dual um, manufacturer? Uh, for every component, we have actually two suppliers in two different oh, okay. regions of the world. So that's important to secure anything what happened in certain regions or at some suppliers that can be a risk for not supplying your equipment to, to your customers. Oh, anymore. okay. All right. That makes sense. And um, so, so far, what do you think of the virtual event format? Have you been um, participating in any other virtual events? Uh, this is the first time we will experience such a large virtual event as Semicon West. Uh, but beside that, many other smaller virtual events have been organized in the last couple of months uh, by other industry platforms. And these events uh, are currently due to the COVID-19, the best way to stay connected with the semiconductor industry mm -hmm. and our business partners, of course. Uh, yeah. And now you have teams, you were able to actually attend or send a team into to Semicon China? Yes, we had presence in Semicon China, but uh, we were not having uh, an exhibition on the booth. And, uh, but these were set, setting up meetings with customers who were able to travel there. Okay, but that's good that you could, at least could have a presence there. Um, Okay, so let's talk about Semicon West. You are here, you are a virtual exhibitor. Um, what are you gonna be showcasing this year? Uh, Trimax has decided to introduce uh, Semicon West, uh, our new Neo 2000 UV curing platform to support the 200 millimeter UV curing and charge arrays applications at IEMs and wafer foundries, which are currently in a need for new platform technology uh, with a guarantee for future deliveries, of course. As a new start, state of the art, sorry, uh, fully digital platform, we're fully ready for industry 4.0 with this solution. Uh, beside that, or in addition, we introduced also a new high volume multi-chamber plasma ashing and light edge platform called Neo 3400S. Uh, since this platform has been successful introduced at Semicon Europe 2019, in the meantime, qualified for 300 millimeter high volume automotive production, we are 
confident that this technology will also be a very good solution for our customers in the US. And for more details, please come and virtual visit the booth at Semi West. And sorry, we cannot offer you a drink. Yeah, uh, that is the, the networking is the part that's gonna be missing, isn't it? Um, yes, yes. But, you know, maybe have the, we have to come up with a solution for that. I mean, can you imagine Semicon Europe, Europa without, um, without the booth parties? Yes, we need to consider. <laughs> we need to consider beer vouchers at the Simi West. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, thank you very much. And uh, in addition to visiting the virtual booth, please visit Trimax at tr uh, tr www semiconductorcom Right there's a dash. Right. Okay. Um, thanks for joining us today. It's always so good to talk with you and to the audience. Thank you for stopping by the 3D Insights booth at Virtual Semicon West. Don't forget to sign up to and or download your um, issue of the yearbook and subscribe to our e-newsletter. E -newsletter, and enjoy the rest of your time at Virtual Semicon West. Thanks a lot, Ludo. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>